What is up everybody? It's your boy Brian from American Auto coming at you today with another fun filled video. Not working on anything classic. We're working on a BMW. Not mine. Although I wouldn't mind one of these. It's a 530i. Real nice car. But the issue is it has halo lights in it. We'll just show you. Right, so we went ahead and got this headlight out because it's a bit of a pain uh, on certain cars they had this one zip tied in right here and it wound up cracking that little piece but both brackets are still in place and we'll make sure that's steady before I put the bulb back in or put the headlight back in but the problem is actually inside the headlamp so uh, we'll get that in a second so whenever you got it, whenever you have to take one of these out I'll show you on this side way down there Behind that cap is an eight millimeter bolt. And then you got one more over here, eight millimeter down there. You have to loosen those up. You don't have to take them out, just loosen them. And that'll give you room enough to slide. Then you take this T30 here out and this T30 here out, set those over here in this channel. And then you wiggle it kind of up this way and out this way at the same time, and it will come out, okay? Now, we're probably going to end up having to take that bulb out too for this process, but I'll show you. The biggest problem we had with this headlight is as you can see, it's got halos in there. Hard to see, but they're in there. But here is the biggest issue. See them wires? They should not be bare. <laughs> so, we're gonna take that out and figure out how to clean that up and put it back together. Now, we're not replacing the halos. This isn't anything like that. The main thing we're doing on this is just making sure this will not catch fire, okay? Because I don't want that car to burn down. I love that car. It's not mine, it's my father-in-law's. But we do not want the car to burn down, so we're gonna fix these wires. That's it. And then we put this back in. But while it's here, while it's here, Somebody has put this film on it. Yeah, and it's horrible. So we're gonna try and get that film off of them too. And clean these lenses up some. So we've got stuff to do, let's get at it. Okay, so where we're at right here, we've got all the wires pulled. And we're simply going to, because I'm not pulling all that in there out as well, uh, because I don't know how, but we're gonna tape right here. And right here, where the wires end, we're gonna tape it to that point, okay? And then we're gonna take all this loose down here and we're going to install heat shrink on it. And at which point we, actually, if I do that, I can just heat shrink all the way back to there. Just to where it's, you know, covered and comfortable. That way I can make sure it don't arc out or nothing when it turns the headlights on. So, and I see both of these wires are connected here so these must be the positives going to the halos. So, those don't matter. But what you don't want is what's going on right here. You don't want them to touch it. So, yeah, let's just, uh, let's heat shrink the crap out of it. Make it nice. What you think? What you think? I think that should work. So what we did, we went in there with the uh, heat shrink I did cut it and slip the heat shrink all the way on, all the way back to the other good wire or the good coating and heat shrink the whole thing on and just put it back together like that. Now that's in there. Now we went on to the other side and notice how foggy that headlight is. It's cause I'm already on the, uh, on the 3000 grit. Uh, I started out with 1500. Now we're gonna hit it with 3000 again and then 5,000, and then you yeah, had a compound and all that after. And then we're gonna put it back on the car. So let's keep rocking and rolling. All right, so the first headlight is done and back installed into the car. Let's this see. This was it. before, and then my little tricks of 1,500 to 3,000 to 5,000 to uh, rubbing compound to polish brings you that. Okay, but keep in mind guys, this is only on the outside, okay? 
If you have scratches on the inside, it's not going to do a single bit of good other than make the outside look better. So that's it. So take that into consideration whenever you're doing this, that if the stuff is on the inside, there's nothing you can do about it that I know of. I don't know how to take headlight cases apart. But as far as cleaning the outside, this was that. And that's what I did. So let's go ahead and get that other one knocked out and get it done. All right, everybody, so again, we go back to it, but this is simply uh, 1500 grit, which makes it super, super foggy. 3000 grit, which takes away a little bit of the fog. 5000 grit, which brings you to here. And then we're gonna start with the polishes, or the compound and polish here in just a second. But, uh, and all I'm using as far as polish and compound is one of them little wheels, dirty wheel, but it's a wheel, on my drill. I have a right angle drill too, but if you have the osculating little air tool, that works the best. I do not have that, so guess what? I'm not going to use that. I may go back over this again with the 15, yeah, because there's, you can still feel whatever that clear stuff is on there, but I don't know. We'll figure it out in a minute. I think I will go back over it one more time. So, but once I, yeah, I'll go back over again. And when I hit it with the 1500, I'll bring you guys back so you can see exactly how foggy it gets before you get to this point. So, hang tight, right, everybody. We got them both back in, hood shut down, and guess what? Tell me that don't look better. Much, much better. That's money. So after I put these back in and got them all straightened up, I went back over it with some of the uh, just headlight restore. One last, one last little bit there. Wiped them down really, really, really good. And then went back over it with the uh, spray on uh, ceramic wax just to make them look the best. But there you go. That's how they are supposed to look. So... There you go. So that's the headlights on a 2006 BMW 530i. Remove, yeah, it's 530i. <laughs> that's the removal, sanding, reworking them. And as I said, guys, I'll tell you the same thing. If you have any questions about what I did, please feel free to message me, leave me a comment, something like that. Uh, ask away. I'll answer anything anybody wants to know. But we started out with 1500 grit uh my water i used was not just plain water actually it had a little bit of dish soap in it uh, i don't know why but for some reason when you add just a little bit of dish soap to your water that you're wet sanding with it makes it work so much better uh, i've heard several old timers talk about doing that so but soapy dish water a little bit start with 1500 grit Went straight to 3,000, went straight to 5,000. And then from there, check where you're at because you might have to go back over it again. And uh, then you want to use your compound and then polish. Okay, that's it. And this is the outcome of them. That's, if I can hold this right, that's the outcome. That's how it turned out. And you saw what it looked like before. So, that's it. Guys, I hope this helps somebody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all of them. It's American Auto 20, okay? Um... Uh, if you have any questions, like I say, feel free to message me, holler at me, whatever. I'll answer anything I can. I'll help anybody I can. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and we will catch you all in the next one. And remember, if it don't challenge you, it don't change you. See you guys.